let's continue talking about aging in bacteria. So I'm going to tell you about two experiments today that uh, clearly show that there actually is senescence in bacteria. So the first one is about reproductive aging, and um, we're going to be talking about one a particular bacteria. It's called uh, Calobacter crescentis. It's um, a very distinctive uh, organism. It kind of um, its shape resembles a, um, a kidney bean. Uh, but it has a tail, so basically it swims uh, with its tail and those cells that are just uh, swimming in the uh, well, environment, liquid, water, they're called the swarmer cells. Uh, when it's, uh, when they um, want to divide, the, uh, they swim to the surface and then their tail falls off and um, they stick to the surface and there's like a firm attachment that is formed. So those uh, cells are not the swarmer cells already and they're mother cells and um, they're called stalker cells. So these guys, they um, just uh, divide. They give birth to their progeny, to the daughter cells by simple fission. And um, interestingly, there are marks on the um, kind of uh, the membrane of the bacteria, you can actually see the, how many times uh, the particular mother cell divided. And it, it sort of resembles the um, a similar phenomenon that is observed in yeast, and uh, those are called, the, the yeast, after dividing, they have kind of like circles um, on their mm, well mem membranes, and those circles are called um, the budding scars, so but bud scars, yeah, um, right. So you can actually count how many times a particular mother cell uh, has divided. So what people did, they uh, were following um, a certain number of those bacteria, and they estimated how many times um, the mother cells gave progeny over a given period of time, and they found that the older the mother cell is, the more it takes uh, for it to produce progeny. So there you go, uh, reproductive capacity goes down with time, and this is a clear sign of aging. Another example, so okay, so those bacteria are asymmetric. You can clearly um, see, uh, well, where's the beginning and where's the end, right? Because the cell is attached with one side um, to the surface. Let's talk about symmetric bacteria now. Say, for example, E. coli. They're absolutely the same. I mean, if you look at them, they just divide. So one cell kind of elongates and there is a division that is formed in uh, the middle and then there are two cells. However, the um, uh, poles of the cell, they can be clearly um, marked as an old pole and the new pole. Basically, when um, there is new membrane uh, formed in the middle of the mother of the uh, long uh, progenitor cell that is about to divide, so the existing poles are called the old poles, and the ones that are um, newly formed, they're the new form the new poles. So if you follow uh, a colony of E. coli during the first nine divisions, and this work was done in France uh, by Francois Today and published in Plus Biology, and this experiment is really brilliant. Uh, they did uh, write uh, uh, software to analyze basically each mother and daughter cell in culture and they were able to identify which pole is an old one and which pole is a new one and they were following um, the generation of poles um, over the nine divisions and they were able to find uh, to find out that the older the pole the cell has the uh, slower it divides so the newly formed cells, they're, they 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 divide much more much rapidly uh, than the ones that have those older poles. So if you take a look at the colony as a whole, you don't see that difference because pretty much um, all the cells divide uh, at the same rate. However, if you are able to identify those ones who have 
older polls, you would see that there's actually a clear difference in the rate of their division. So you can uh, separate um, the slower dividing cells from the uh, more faster dividing ones. So um, this actually um, is a nice illustration of the clear um, morphological asymmetry within bacteria. And actually, even though they don't have um, compartments within the cell, they have really great organization and there is something about those old poles that actually um, made the cells divide um, less rapidly. And um, well, this is unpublished and this is just an idea, but there is um, um, a thought that uh, maybe it's the uh, DNA methylation that's, um, that is altered and um, basically it changes depending on, well, the age of the pole.